people from class 11 science and I am here to discuss about one of the experiments of the given project LIFI. First of all, the full form of the LIFI is light fidelity, which transmits data with the help of the LED signals. It transmits data in the form of zeros and ones when the light is off, the data passes zero, and when the light is on, the data passes one. In this way, zeros and ones, the data is transferred from one end to the another. And according to the survey, LIFI transmits data about 10 times more faster than wireless fidelity, which is commonly known as Wi Fi. Now, let us look at the apparatus that is used in making of this project. First of all, a long AU aux cable is taken, and a battery clipper, a small LED bulb, a battery, a 9 megawatt solar panel, and a speaker. Now let us see how this project is made. A long aux cable is cut into two halves and one end of the aux cable is joined with this LED bulb and the other end of the aux cable is connected with this battery clipper and the other end of the aux cable is connected with the solar panel. You can see here the connection is very simple. Now let us see how this transmits data signals from one end to the other. One end of the jack of the aux cable is put inside the phone and we can see here that the bulb started glowing and when the song is played on the phone and the LED bulb is brought near the solar panel you can see here that the song is played in the speaker and when the light is removed from the solar panel the speaker stop working When the light is blocked, the song cannot be heard. This is how life can transmit data from one end to the another with the help of the LED signals. Hope you all like this project. Thank you and have a nice day. Hello everyone, I am Shreya Upadhyay from class 9B. And today I have come up with a very special and challenging game known as Budge Wire Game. So, for those who don't know the game, let me introduce it to you first. Let's turn on the switch. So, the aim of the game is to carefully move the wire wide loop along the GI wire mage without touching it. And in case, if the loop touches the mage, the light will start glowing and the buzzer will start sounding just like that. Okay. Hey, have you all wondered that how the light starts glowing and the buzzer starts sounding when this metal loop touches the wire even for a fraction of a second? Let's understand this first. So basically, it is due to the completion of an electric circuit. We know that a circuit is a closed path around which the electricity flows. Let's have a look to the budge wire game circuit. It consists of a battery which is a power source, then a switch which actually controls the flow of electricity, the light and buzzer which indicates that the loop is touching the wire, the long wire, for proper connection and the GI wire for making the mage as it is a good conductor of electricity. Here the circuit starts with the battery. Here the red wire indicates positive and black wire indicates negative. So firstly we have to connect the positive side of battery and lights to the switch and then we have to connect the negative side of both to the long wire. The long wire which is connected to the battery has to be connected with the mage. The long wire which is connected with the light has to be connected with the loop. Let's move to the next part of the circuit. Here we have to connect the positive side of both the lights together and the negative side of both the lights together. And in the same manner we will connect the buzzer to the circuit. And here our circuit get complete when this metal mace touches the loop even for a fraction of a second. Hence turning the LED on and the buzzer makes a sound. So this is all based on electricity and conductivity. This is how the budge wire game works. Thank you and have a wonderful day. We need a cardboard, a battery and a buzzer. For bulb, we need a starter bulb. I am taking out this and take a bulb. I will cut the wires from the nail cutter. Now I will take the battery, the buzzer and the bulb one by one. Connect it with the battery. Take a wire and connect 
2 battery plus 1 and the minus wire of the battery I will connect to the minus battery of buzzer connect it and this wire buzzer plus wire will go to bulb minus now I will take a wire and connect from buzzer plus to the battery to the bulb minus and the plus wire from the battery will direct go to the bulb plus I have connected now I will show you a proper working fire alarm basically the minus wire from the battery is going to the minus wire of buzzer the plus wire of the battery is directly going to the bulb plus wire and the plus wire of buzzer is going to bulb minus Good evening everyone, I am Om Prajan Pritam Sahu from class 6D and our topic for science exhibition is smoke absorber. This is a smoke absorber. The materials which are used for making the smoke absorber are two DC motors, some wires, two fans, two batteries, one bottle and one box. There are six holes in front of the box which absorbs the smoke inside and there is a hole of the bottle which throw out the smoke out. Let us see how the smoke absorber works. When I hold these light and incense sticks, they give out lot of smoke. These smoke was absorbed by the fan inside. So smoke was absorbed from these holes and thrown out from the other end. and my dear friends. My name is Gian Patel from class 4A. Today's topic is making pressure fountain. We need water, bottle, bowl, balloon, scissors and straw. Make a hole in plastic bottle with scissors. Creating a wonderful pressure fountain. 